Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, are. We have been running and running and running and there's been snow and, and there's been electrical issues mm -hmm. and school and we've got dough Africa on our table. <laughs> Yeah. It's homeschool stuff. Yeah, it is homeschool stuff. So. Well, check this out. Okay, everybody. So this is kind of a funny little thing I thought I'd share with you, mainly because it's just one of those uh, rural area things that you never would think about unless you lived here. And that is this garbage pickup. Most people around here have a permit to burn like the paper products and that's normal that's normal and completely fine but your regular garbage pickup stuff that you can't burn or shouldn't burn uh, there are services that, that basically they don't deliver cans to you like in a city they deliver uh, an empty well basically uh, it's like a small dumpster like this one and you get this dumpster and they only come pick it up once a month. Well, months like December, you either have to pay for an extra month or you got to make it all fit and it's all got to get in there. Uh, and I just got a, a, a text, a request, oh, I'm losing my, my helmet here. I got a text request from our neighbors uh, and he said, hey, been, been filling up the dumpster, do you mind coming over? and uh, give me a hand with your tractor. I'm like, sure, what? Because we just, you know, take the bucket, squish it down. And I thought, boy, that is so smart. I never thought of that in the, in the couple years we've been living here. Well, I should probably keep my eye on the road. So yeah, going over to help smash down some trash in a mini dumpster thingy. What have we? Mm. No, no, don't, don't pull it apart. I wasn't gonna pull it apart. <laughs> How's school, Mama? What's going on here? School is good. Uh, we're learning about Africa, ancient Africa, I should say. Um, so we're we we've, we've done a topographical no yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, of oh, the continent uh, a model I should say of the continent of Africa. Um, they've been letting it dry for a few days, and they'll paint it uh, probably today. It's still a little, oop, a little wet. Did just break it? You broke off South I Africa. Did. I did. South Africa is okay. now floating away. It's okay. <laughs> oops. Oops. <laughs> All right. So, question for you, because yeah. I know a lot of moms, and well, just everybody, not not just people who do homeschool. Mm -hmm. How are you dealing with all of this? without going anywhere, being stuck. I love it. <laughs> you what? I love it. I love not having to go places and, um, you know, we have so much space here at the, you know, in the house it's and outside. Uh, the kids can go out and play. They have friends to play with. Um, I'm good. We don't need to go anywhere. We don't need to go anywhere. We've got eggs, we've got milk, we've got freezers bread. full of meat. We've got bread that I can make. Um, we cook everything from scratch mostly anyway, so it's, uh, we don't have to go to restaurants, which once in a while would be nice, but eh, it's, it's better for you not to anyway, so. I found that it's saving us a ton kind of, of money. money. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We would go to Walmart just for a couple of things and, and come then you home end up with a cart full. 20 things. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we are saving a bunch of money, but, um, no, I, I. I like being at home. I, I don't like being out all the time because I like so routine. I like routine, so. All right, Hope. What's your favorite thing about being stuck at home all the time? Being stuck at home all the time. You don't like going out either. <laughs> <Home body too. laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right, well, update complete on to other things. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things that I hope to get going or maybe even done, um, is uh, Prep Star Bob's coming over to help rewire this room. Uh, we have, or I have, 
since we moved, I have time out, time out. This has been my life forever. I, I make music, I record music, I do production voiceovers, uh, production, video, audio, have done it forever. And when we moved into this new house, th this room that I'm in uh, became my studio where I go to work. This is where one of the ways that we make money for the family. And I'm, I'm actually started working on a, a praise and worship record right now, which is really cool because I've never done it. And, and I just feel really solid that there's going to be some music in there that's going to be blessing to people. But I digress. So here's where I make money for the family. And uh, but there's a problem. And that is a 60 cycle hum. Now, if you are in music or you know anything about it or played guitar or whatever, it's that uh, buzz that can happen in computers or microphones or any of this stuff um, that happens when you're not grounded properly. So if this room is not grounded properly or if it's in the same circuit as uh, say microwave oven, when somebody turns on the microwave oven, my speakers go <laughs> and that can ruin a recording like that. Um, or if somebody turns on a washing machine or if there's a weird lighting issue and it's not grounded properly, then I, I can't use it. So prep setter Bob, hopefully, I don't know, cause he, he, uh, he has a, a side gig of pushing snow around. And uh, if he has to push snow around, then he may not be able to come over. But I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna see what, what it's like, and hopefully, uh, prayerfully, he can come and help. Cause I bought this long tool that he said, oh, you gotta, you gotta have this long tool that'll fish wire through um, the walls in order to do that so that I can get a direct line of electricity that is not attached to anything else and a solid ground and then fingers crossed, eyes crossed, knees crossed, all the yada yadas and yippy skippies and hopefully I won't have any. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Prepstetter Bob. Dum, dum, dum. No, ha! So you're saying the very first thing we gotta do is map out what's where, because we gotta track down where the power's actually coming from. Well, let's even step one farther back, one step farther back. Uh, poor, poor Brad in his recording studio <laughs> is experiencing what's called a cycle hum. 60. In, a 60 cycle hum in his equipment. Uh, normally, what's happening is you have a lost ground or a lost uh, neutral wire that's creating an impedance of some kind, or when you turn on another piece of equipment, it's back feeding into the upstairs. Now, <laughs> if you built it yourself and you know where all this goes, that's fantastic. You can just isolate it from there. But here, nothing is marked. Uh-oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So we're gonna go on a bit of a discovery and figure out which breakers go to which room. Then we can isolate the room upstairs from wherever it's connected to and just kind of work our way backwards. See if we can't eliminate the hum. And I'll probably go ahead and label this by the time we're done. I would. I think it's a smart thing. Yeah. Okay, so he's determined that this one circuit right here is feeding everything in the kitchen including microwave, dishwasher, refrigerator, lights, everything. And then it goes upstairs to my office, which has computers and microphone preamps and all kinds of stuff that's super sensitive electronically. So we got to figure that's probably going to need its own circuit for my, my room. Oh, part of the adventure. I don't know. Uh, we're trying to find, this house has been added onto and renovated. Many times. So you have to find, electricians like plumbers try to find the fastest, easiest, cheapest way to go, but yet still charge it. Um, <laughs> so we found a junction box that somebody stuck a light on here just because the hallway is dark. And right here is a cluster bunch of wires. So I'm wondering if that's the power for the kitchen and the entire upstairs. I'll bet it is. So now we have it isolated. You need to run uh, downstairs and shut that break. I'll go to you. I'll be right back. Man. Man, oh man. 
I need to get on the Stairmaster a little more. This is getting a little tiring. And back up the stairs. Love it. Hi, there's so many stairs. There are many stairs. All righty, so, oh, not, you know I have to put that in there now. It's it's so happening, Mrs. B, my gracious. She's being froggy. Ah. It's because I, I have a reason to be. Yes. Oh, do tell. Really? If you want to. Yeah. Oh, we can say it. Our, our prayers have been answered. Yes. We have a healthy brand new baby grand Grandbaby. Grandbaby girl. Praise yeah. God. Yes. We're right. thrilled to death. This being grandparents, awesome. <laughs> Fill them up with sugar and send them home. Oh, we're thinking uh, Mountain Dew and Skittles and send them home. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a, a, a light hanging from the wall back there. We have looked everywhere for the junction box to see where they brought the power up to the room, and only God knows where it is. So, no bueno. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we had to do a couple different tests to see if that 60 hertz hum was coming through from the electrical box or was it through the wiring or the accumulation of wiring and i think we isolated that it's the accumulation it of is. wiring between the kitchen and all the other junk going upstairs so what we're going to do is run a new separate circuit through a pillar on the inside the house we can go ahead and run a, an isolated individual circuit, which should eliminate that whole entire thing for just, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks. Praise God. Yeah. And so that'll thank be you. Oh, well, we, we'll get it. It's just one of those things. So that's we'll tomorrow. That's tomorrow. So I know you look super excited about all this. <laughs> Both of you. I, I honestly think that we probably went up and down the stairs a oh, good 20 word. times. Mm -hmm. And while the stairs are beautiful, I, I, I need more time on the stair master. <laughs> so. Well, I didn't go up and down. I'm still not skinny. <laughs> well. All right, we'll get on it tomorrow. See ya. Okay, so ultimately, um, trying to sleuth out the electrical issues here have been interesting because we actually know the people that built the home and they, it's not their fault. No. They just one thing after the next, after the next, it was an add-on. Right, right. This house was not built all at once. They started with the, the bottom floor of the basement and then added on this mm -hmm. floor and then added on the the, uh, the top. And so, you know, finding the shortest route to hook up electric. <sighs> yeah, it, well, and, and the way that it's set up is unacceptable for audio recording right normal homes it's perfectly fine. fine fine but for you it's yeah anytime the compressor kicks on on the refrigerator mm -hmm. anyway we told you all about yeah. that but um got a lot done we're back in the rhythm mm -hmm. and tomorrow we're gonna be going and getting the necessary electrical stuff and then fingers crossed eyes crossed knees crossed the whole cross cross Tomorrow we should have power that's dedicated directly to that room. Yes, via its own breaker, not so, linked to anything else. Got to look at the camera. I was. The camera. I, I was. Why don't you say goodbye? Goodbye. He's Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.